Stages of Meiosis by Kelma Dew and Wesley Way. This is the parent cell. It has n equals 3, which is the haploid number. Meiosis 1. In prophase 1, the DNA coils tightly and individual chromosomes become visible. Homologous chromosomes become closely associated in synapses, and they exchange segments by crossing over. By metaphase 1, the nuclear membrane has disappeared and the microtubules form a spindle. Spindle fibers attach to one side of each centromere, and the two homologous chromosomes attach to microtubules orienting from opposite poles. Each pair of homologs then lines up to the metaphase plate. Either maternal or paternal homolog, homolog may orient toward a given pole. In anaphase 1, the microtubules of the spindle fiber shorten and pull the chromosome, chromosomes toward the poles, taking both sister chromatids with them. Each pole ends up with a complete haploid set of chromosomes, consisting of one member of the homologous pair. During telophase 1, the nuclear membrane reforms around the daughter nuclei. Each daughter nucleus contains two sister chromatids for each chromosome, attached to a certain centromere. By, because of crossing over, the two sister chromatids are not identical. Meiosis 2 During prophase 2, the nuclear envelope breaks down and a new spindle fiber forms. In metaphase 2, spindle fibers bind to both sides of the centromeres. During anaphase 2, the spindle fibers contract and sister chromatids move toward opposite poles. In telophase 2, nuclear envelopes reform around sets of daughter chromosomes. Non disjunction in meiosis 2. A non disjunction occurs when chromosomes and sister chromatids fail to separate. In this model, everything in meiosis 1 is the same until it reaches meiosis 2. One of the chromosomes fails to separate during this stage. In metaphase 2, the spindle fiber fails to attach to a side of one of the chromosomes, thus creating an N plus 1 and an N minus 1 cell.